Hello and welcome to Wildcat Action News. I'm Finley. And I'm Emma. This week we're starting off with Top Story. Let's send it to the team for the story. We had over 150 people vote for our March Madness book bracket. Some of these had a tight competition. A few only had a 1% difference. Let's see which book won the first round. In the kindergarten through second grade bracket, we first had Are You a Cheeseburger? versus The Very Last Leaf. And the winner is The Very Last Leaf. For the second matchup, we had The Squirrel Who Squabbled versus Frankenslime. And the winner is Frankenslime. In the third matchup, our book were Turk and Runt versus One is a Feast for a Mouse. And our winner is One is a Feast for a Mouse. For our final matchup, we had Six Simon versus Smitten and the winner is Smitten. Now for the third through fifth grade book competition. Up for the first matchup is The Survivor Tree versus Big Truck Little Island and the winner with 105 votes is The Survivor Tree. The second matchup was 21 Steps, Guarding the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier versus Balloons Over Broadway, the true story of the puppeteer of Macy's, Macy's Day Parade. This was the tightest race with only one vote difference, and the winner was Balloons Over Broadway. In the third matchup is Six Simon vs. Dinosaur Lady, The Daring Discoveries of Mary Anning, and the first pill paleontologist we we have a cinderella story for this matchup with the unsuspecting winner being sick simon our final matchup of the of this first round is how the cookie crumbled versus saving the day with exactly 99 votes is how the cookie crumbled be ready to vote for our second round next week for our march madness book bracket Will we have another upset? Will the number one seed stay on top? Let's keep voting, readers. See you next week, Wildcats. Now we're going to check in on our JDRF coin work progress. We have a coin war update for all of you today. Our goal is to raise $1,000 by the end of March. Will your class finish in the lead and earn a, a popsicle party? Here are our current leaders. Third is 4JC with $26.63. And second is 3H with $45.93. And first is 5A with $96.15. Bring in your coins, bills, or even a check so we can help raise money to support JDRF. Let's go to Carson and Sophia for this week's Staff Spotlight. Hello, I'm Sophia and I'm here with Carson. And today we're interviewing Mr. Carter for this week's Staff Spotlight. How long have you been teaching at Wild Await? I've been teaching at Wild Await for 20 years now. So this is my 20th year. Before I came to Wild Await, I taught at a school called at Spring Bay Riverview, and it was a K through eight building. And I taught there for four years before I came over to Wild Await. But I actually student taught here at Wild Await in this very gym. What's your favorite part about being a teacher? Well, I really enjoy getting to work with a lot of different students. Um, 
I see about 500 students every single day, not including who I coach. Um, so it's, it's a lot of fun getting to know a lot of different people. What is your favorite book to read? Well, I really enjoyed the Lord of the Rings trilogy by uh, Tolkien, so that's probably my favorite one that I grew up reading. Um, a lot of times right now, I read a lot of historical fiction. Um, Into Thin Air by Krakow was one of my favorite, most recent books I've read. What is your favorite food to eat? Well, I really enjoy steak, but I also like a lot of seafood, and, and in particular lobster. So those are probably my two favorites that I enjoy. What is your favorite hobby? Well, I like to be outside, whether it's gardening in my yard. We have about three acres of land that we take care of, but I also like to play golf. I'll get out with Mr. Connolly and Mr. Corey and play a lot of golf during the summertime. Uh, anything outside, I really enjoy. Where do you like to go on vacation? Well, of course, I like any place tropical. We've been, my wife and I have been to Jamaica, Dominican Republic, Mexico. Um, but we also take a couple big trips for our anniversaries, for our 20 year anniversary. We were in Italy for three weeks and for our 25th we were in Hawaii for a couple of weeks. So just enjoy being out and seeing a lot of different things. How long have you been coaching track? Well, I've had the opportunity to coach track for 25 years and I've done that every year since I've been teaching. Um, at both Spring Bay Riverview and here at Dunlap between Dunlap Valley, Dunlap Middle and Dunlap High School. And I've also coached cross country um, for at least 20 of those years at the same school. So it keeps me pretty busy, but it's a lot of fun. Thank you, Mr. Kider, for joining us this week and telling us about yourself. Thank you very, very much for having me today. I appreciate it. Let's send it back up to the newsroom. It's time for this week's good news. Hello, we are the 5A Good News Crew. I'm Sonvi. I'm Jules. I'm Sydney. We are on the lookout for Wildcats who have been meeting all four school expectations. Safe, kind, respectful, and responsible. Did you say you've been following all four expectations. What expectations have you been meeting? Responsible. Have you been responsible? I've been finishing all my work on time. What is one of the four expectations you've been following? Respectful. How have you been respectful? I was following directions. Which is one of the four expectations that you've been following? Um, being kind. How have you been kind? By playing with my friends. What is one of the four expectations you've been following? Responsible and kind. How have you been responsible? Uh, listening to the teacher and working hard. How have you been kind? I've been uh, sharing with my friends and playing with them. We are proud of all of our Wildcats. Will we, we catch, catch you being great? This is the Good News Crew. Until next week, be great Wildcats. Let's learn a little about spring with a news edition of Festive Facts. Hello, Wildcat. This week we celebrate the first day of spring. Now I believe we won't be needing this anymore. For this one's holiday special, let's take a look at some facts that have been sprouting up everywhere about spring. Did you know most babies are born in spring? And not just animals, more humans are born in spring than any other time as well. Did you know the first day of spring is called the spring equinox? On this day, the Earth's axis will be tilted more towards the sun. Did you know that around the spring equinox, we turn our clocks ahead? Because of this, it'll be a little darker in the morning for a while, but it will be much lighter light later in the day. That's all for this edition of Festive Facts. 
See you next time, Wildcats! Let's take a look at this week's lunch menu. At El Brighton, we're at the aquarium! Yes, finally. It's been my dream to cook fish in an aquarium. Now, just wait here while I get my tool. Uh, okay, I was here to see the fish, not cook them, but I guess we can do it. Okay, well, let's check out the lunch menu while we make it. It looks like on Monday we're having hot dogs. Tuesday is mini corn dogs. Wednesday is nachos ground day. Thursday is chicken tendies. Friday is Bosco sticks. Ah, this looks delicious. Why, of course it does. See, See you next week. week. Wait a second. Do you hear that? Ah! It's time for this week's quick quiz. Can you get the answer? It's time for this week's joke of the week. What did the tree say to spring? What a relief. That's all the time we have for this week. See you next time on Wildcat Action News. Do you hear that? No. Wait, I do. Ah! Hello, and what? To see the fish, not cook them and eat them, but let's do it. Okay, well, let's check out the lunch menu while we make our fish. You did it! What's the joke again? Gen of festive hats. That's all the time we have for this week. See you next time on Wildcat Action News.